वेलकम टू लर्निंग इक्विनॉक्स टुडे वी शैल बी टॉकिंग ऑन द सेवेंथ इन आर सीरीज ऑफ सॉफ्ट स्किल्स वी शैल बी फोकसिंग ऑन प्रोफेशनल एटिकेट एट वर्क प्लेस गुड मैनर्स एनकरेज द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप्स एंड एज पीपल वर्किंग टुगेदर दे अप्रिशिएट पोलाइटनेस एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड बाई बींग पोलाइट एंड गिविंग रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच अदर एट वर्क प्लेस वी एनहेंस आर रिलेशनशिप्स अराउंड विद पीपल Why is professional etiquette important? In our series of soft skills so far, we've already discussed the significance of emotional quotient, interpersonal skills and team building. All of these talk about engagement with people around. If you show professionalism in your interaction with them and respect them, you automatically create a good and lasting first impression. People look forward to interact with you and socialize. This helps you become a good team player and network around people. Good professional etiquette facilitates cross-cultural communication as well and helps you associate well with peers, superiors and subordinates thereby adding on to relationship building in the organization. The impression you leave behind is what shows professionalism. In this video today we shall bring out the various ways in which you can showcase professionalism at workplace. We shall segregate it into three broad categories: workplace etiquette, telephone etiquette, and social etiquette. When we talk about workplace, it does not only refer to your desk but also the entire office premise where you move around. It is important that you dress appropriately for office. It should be formal. Practice good hygiene and keep yourself neat and tidy. Also the office premise neat and clean. This includes not only your workstation but also when you're making use of the pantry or the washrooms it's important that you leave it clean from your end. Don't mess around the premises. Also avoid carrying strong aroma food for lunch. It distracts the surrounding and does not leave a good impression of you. Watch what you speak when you speak to your colleagues or bosses at any given point of time. Avoid the use of jargon and don't make use of any casual statements. Communicate effectively and make sure you do it in an appropriate manner. Do not interrupt when someone around is speaking or even if you're in a meeting and bubbling with thoughts or an opinion to make. Be patient. Hold on and let the other person complete. It's bad manners to interrupt a conversation. Once the other person is done speaking, you can mention your points. Do not gossip. It holds no relevance in office premises. Gossips are a sheer waste of time and it's important that you maintain distance from these type of conversations and focus on maintaining work-life balance. Gossip will unnecessarily eat up your time, lowering your productivity. Thus make sure you do not fall a prey of this. Keep politics and other volatile topics out of workplace. Respect personal space of people. While walking around the office premise, do not peep into other people's workstation. It does not showcase professionalism. Everyone likes their own privacy and it's important that we show respect at workplace. Respect other people's time. When you have called someone for a discussion or going in for a meeting, make sure that you are available at least 5 minutes in advance. It is important to maintain timelines as it is a way of showing respect. By being on time, you show value towards the time of others and thus give them respect. This way you earn it too for yourself. Be mindful of noise levels. It's important to speak at a certain pitch. Do not show loud emotions at workplace. Remember, others are watching you and talking around loudly on phone or scolding someone in a crowd, all of these will leave a bad impression about you. Thus it is important that you completely avoid such situations at workplace. While you are using the internet at workplace, make sure of the following avoid personal attacks refrain from personal comments or sarcasm on chat windows while talking to others avoid the use of inappropriate material to be sent across like jokes comments unnecessary pictures etc while writing emails follow basic spell checks punctuations know when to use capitalization practice good digital hygiene this means not to make 
extensive use of office internet for gaming or other personal work switch off the machines and internet when not needed make sure you lock your machines when you are not at your desk lastly remember digital is forever which means that anything sent across the internet has a backtrack record and can be traced through the ip address of your systems so be very careful while sending out any information from this medium it will last forever the next telephone etiquette let us look at what things we must take care of while talking over the phone be conscious of how your voice sounds while talking to someone on the phone remember that your voice is your only image thus make sure to use the right kind of words and voice modulation to give a lasting impact do not speak too softly or too loudly while you are on a call always be courteous this is the way you show respect to the other person and your company brand it's all about leaving a lasting impression of your brand so that the people are able to relate to you as the brand of the company convey a positive professional attitude when you answer the phone the approach over the phone should be such that the other person feels welcoming be positive in your communication speak with confidence while using mobile devices at workplace make sure that you're not using loud or funny ringtones mute your phones in meeting do not take or make calls when it is disturbing others look around if you see that your call will disturb the other people or what's going around do not make call at such places go far or outside the office premises and make a personal call do not take pictures or videos without permission do not take notes on phone during meetings this is an exception unless the company allows you to do so but it does not show professionalism if you make notes over the phone in a meeting now we move to the third one which is the social etiquette social etiquette refers to when you go out for business meetings seminars business lunch or dinner at this time remember you are representing your company so be mindful of what you speak and how this goes a long way in showing professionalism while introducing yourself talk about your company and give a brief description of your role do not elaborate more about your role and keep talking on your achievements while introducing others help them to ease into the conversation don't be bossy or show disrespect to others help them ease down and speak into the conversation drop keywords and sentences that can help them build upon and get involved in the conversation while dining choose foods that are easy to eat don't make the table look messy with you around chewing food loudly if you're not comfortable with eating certain type of food avoid it it may look absurd be cautious with alcohol consumption do not over drink drink only how much you feel you can carry yourself appropriately another significant aspect of social etiquette is to know when to stop by this we mean that there is a thin distinguishing line between social and business discussion look at what the gathering is all about and act accordingly do not get too social when the agenda is more business like and vice versa be conscious of the balance between the two this is all about being professional at work here we have just given you an idea of what professional etiquette is all about we have a full course on soft skills where we take you through the detailing of each one of them for this you can get in touch with us at the number given on the screen or write to us at the given email id here we work with you on your personality and help you groom well all this with interactive discussions and examples always remember if you are confused in any situation observe what others around are doing and let respect be your guiding principle lastly i would like to conclude by saying that respect is how you treat everyone not just those you want to impress